Green flag at the back. The long run to turn one is five lights away. And the Mexico City Grand Prix is go with a good reaction time for the Ferraris. But Max Verstappen is trying to dart between the pair of them. The slipstreaming that we normally see is not happening. Verstappen's got a good launch. He's already up to second. I reckon that's the race lead in the inside line. Checo Perez trying to go around the outside. He's made contact. He's made contact with Charles Leclerc into the first corner. Perez spins round. Leclerc goes over the road and takes back P1. But he overtook on the grass and he's got damage, damage. at the front of the car. Max Verstappen turns P3 on the grid to the lead in Mexico City. Dramatic opening corner of the lap as Daniel Ricciardo goes wheel to wheel with Lewis Hamilton. Ricciardo will stay ahead of the seven time world champion into turn five, but Hamilton getting on the power, trying to keep all four wheels on the road. He finds himself up a place to fifth position. Great launch from both the Red Bull cars. No draft needed, no slipstream needed for Max Verstappen. Just split the Ferraris, and you see Checo Perez with that draft, tries to go three wide and redo what Max did back in 21, late on the brakes on the outside. But it's just, there's just not enough room. He tried to force the issue a little bit, tried to squeeze Leclerc down, but he had Verstappen on the inside of him. Maybe he didn't know they were three wide at the time. And yeah, look, he drove straight down the, the middle of the racetrack there. No fault can be apportioned to Charles Leclerc. Meanwhile, Max, clean apex, not even locking up as he breaked into the first turn. This is not good at all for Checo Perez. No. So this is further back in the field. This is going to be the yellow flag, isn't it? This is going to be Yuki Tsunoda trying to overtake Kevin Magnussen. He knows he's got the speed in that car this weekend, but went outside of the power unit component allocations. Laid on the brakes, too late on the brakes. That was why we had the yellow flag. Over the road he goes and rejoins. Oh, very tight. Oh, is Hamilton going to take a look here? Hamilton going deep to the inside, to the dirty part of the racetrack, and Hamilton makes the move that has been coming for a couple of laps now. He fights his way by. Clean stop from the Red Bull crew, 2.4 seconds. Our best bet is to extend and go optimal one stop. I agree. Copy. How many more laps you can do at this pace? Question. Might not be for Lando Norris going the long way round. Valtteri Bottas runs out of tyres. That is a tidy pass. That's the sort of thing you need to do if you're going to efficiently make your way through the field. You're seeing Lewis Hamilton on the side of your picture to see where he is in relation to the Ferrari team. 2.3 second stop is decent, but Lewis Hamilton is disappearing down the main straight. Lewis Hamilton came in earlier on to get the benefit for the fresher rubber, and he has track position over the Ferrari driver. Unusual for Lando Norris, because he's been fighting at the front for the last half of a season, but today he's fighting from the back. Not what he wanted to do, but these passes have been clean, and there's another one. Pass Alex Albon and up to eighth place. We're on board with Kevin Magnussen around the uh, final corner. Does he get wide through there? Oh, it's dusty and dirty out there if you get wide. And K-Mag taking the route that I took to the commentary box. And he was lucky with all the marbles, all the dust, to keep it pointing in the right direction. We go on board with a man from Monaco about to hit his marks. The team will go to work. How quickly can they service the car? Brand new, hard tyres being bolted on. 2.4 is strong once again. And uh, Kevin oh. Magnussen has had a big crash. Kevin Magnussen off a moment ago. This time he's off again, but far more significant. And on lap 33 of 71, Magnussen finds the barriers, and this could change the complexion of the Grand Prix. Oh. Something let go. Yeah, something let go for sure. Failure on that car. Oh, you can see it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Left rear. Had the wide moment on the exit at turn 17 and then into the barriers at turn 8 on the next lap. The red flag is understandably flying around this circuit. The barrier is damaged. Most importantly, the driver is OK. But a big impact with the wall for Kevin Magnussen. Here come the lights for the second start of the Mexico City Grand Prix. And the race is on once again. Max Verstappen will cut across Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc is under pressure, though, for Lewis Hamilton. Great reaction time for Carlos Sainz. Sainz wasn't able to do anything with it. And now Daniel Ricciardo is looking to try and go down the inside. No one's been able to get past Max Verstappen, who leads into turn one. Then it's Charles Leclerc. Then it's Lewis Hamilton. Sainz makes his way through. And it's Russell who gets past Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo doesn't want to give it up, though. And they will make their way through turn three. It was mighty close, though. 
Just horrific start from Lando Norris. Was slow off the line and lost, I mean, four spots. He was really the big loser on that one. So all the progress that Norris had made so far in the race has been undone as side by side here. Hamilton to the inside. Hamilton to second position. He gets past Charles Leclerc. The crowd no longer have Sergio Perez to clear, but they enjoyed that move at the first turn of the racetrack. Hamilton going for that medium tire early. Oh, it's going to be very contact. tight. Contact between the two of them. Yuki Tsunoda trying to get past Oscar Piastri. Piastri on a different part to the racetrack. It is dirty and dusty off the racing line. Driving on his mirrors now, the rookie Australian, Yuki Tsunoda, trying to force a way by. These hard tyres could allow him to attack in the final stages of this Grand Prix. Maybe I was a bit early with uh, was there contact. And certainly uh, we had Oscar. Oh, yeah, there was. Tire to tire touch there. Oh, and this is tight once again. It's contact once again, and round goes Yuki Tsunoda. Contact at turn two the lap before. Contact this time at turn one. Alpha Tauri are so, so desperate to put two cars in the points, but that chance has disappeared. Man. Around the outside of turn number four to get the apex for five, Lando Norris goes past another car. What a cameo he is having in this second part of the Grand Prix. Is this going to be the swap? The answer is yes. They swap positions. Yeah, that was smart from Oscar as well. Having a small lift just backing off on the street costs you l much less time than you would imagine. We're on board with the British driver up against his old teammate who's starting Grand Prix 246 today. So he knows how to defend down into turn number four. Norris trying to go all the way around the outside, outside of four, inside of five. Another move completed. What a second stint this has been in the Grand Prix. And we see Lando Norris forcing his rival off the racing line to part of the racetrack he doesn't want. Tries the up and under. Is it going to be another classic move? Elbows out. Lando Norris has done it again. The crowd adore it. It's another fine overtake and a great way to take fifth place. Into the 13th corner. And that is going to be a spin round for Lance Stroll. And Bottas making contact with the Aston Martin. And that is clumsy stuff. But great action for the 30,000 sat in this part of the racetrack. It's going to be the sweetest 16th victory of the season for Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen wins the Mexico City Grand Prix. Across the line for second place comes Lewis Hamilton with the fastest lap on the 71st and last tour to take another podium, just a fourth podium finish of the season for Charles Leclerc. And a topsy-turvy race in the end claimed by Max Verstappen. Bold move at the start to turn P3 into the lead on lap one. He never looked back. Lewis Hamilton with a fine pass for second place. Charles Leclerc returning to the podium for only the fourth time this year.